in Byzantium. Why would anybody bring raptodons up here? Don't this hotel have a policy on animals? Greetings, non-criminally associated individual. The Rizzo's Constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic processes are currently suspended. At present, criminal reports do not require paperwork. Please lament only in marked lamentation Zones. Please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. Checking logs. Error. Limitation. What limitation? All requests for security footage. Re Error. Bit processing unit has been removed. Temporarily surpassing bit fee request. Funds will be requested from Rizzo's leadership with interest at a later date. Delivering footage. Thank you. For if you would like a wine error, unit designate. How may this unit be a
Excellent observation, Inspector. Multiple wounds located in the frontal bone and between the clavicles suggest she was facing away from her attacker. Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. These casings are too minuscule for conventional small caliber firearms. Each casing resembles a lancing needle used for medical and surgical purposes. Yes, Inspector. These wounds and ammunition are consistent with the description of Halcyon Helen's signature weapon, the Needler. This unit's records show that the Needler was likely taken from Helen's belongings in the penthouse. High concentration of potassium chloride detected. Trace amounts of neurotoxin detected. These substances show the highest concentration near the entry and exit wounds. Cardiac arrest, rather than physical trauma, is the most likely cause of death. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Banter protocol activated. We'll find this rat bastard's responsible, Inspector. Please, can't you see my heart is bursting at the seams? I absolutely must go out. A quote from the Sisty Cutlet. I voiced a Sisty Pig aware that it was going to be slaughtered. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a... No, oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. Tampering? No, no, no. I just happened to be passing through the kitchen and saw a dish that looked good. If being hungry is a crime, you better indict three-fourths of Halcyon. What? That damned bellhop promised discretion. Well, if you must know, it's um, an appetite suppressant. How do you think I keep my form so lithe? Terror egg lands keep me from feeling hunger pangs. I want to add another to the pile. Oh, no. Wait, I... Uh, bah. No use in pretending, is there? As it so happens, I may not have had the terror egg land acquired for personal use. I, I may have placed it in Bellamy's meal. But before you indict me, please, just listen. I wasn't trying to kill her. I will. I will. Terror ray glands aren't supposed to be lethally poisonous. They're supposed to cause extreme lethargy, as if you'd inhaled several quarts of Spectrum Vodka. She would have had to eat six or seven of the glands to die, and even then it would be an extended, arduous process. I was just getting to that. I only wanted her to be incapacitated during the brown unveiling. With her out of commission, the next available celebrity, myself, would get to host the unveiling. Please think twice about telling the administrator of my misdeeds. If he learns the truth, 
What's left of my career will be left in shambles. What will happen when all of the great actors are gone, Inspector? Who will replace us? No one. That's who. There will be nothing on the Aether Waves but serial starring mechanicals. I hope it's worth it. Inspector, I've just received word that Constable Keene is dead. Please tell me it isn't true. Halcyon Helen, Leora Blossom, Maria Keene. There's a murderer on the loose, Inspector. You must stop them. I don't have Maria to count on anymore, so I'm counting on you. The Needler was among Helen's belongings. Whoever stole it must have been able to slip in and out of the hotel. Maria was my sole representative in Cedric's territory. The entire hotel staff is on his payroll. Any one of them could have killed her on his behalf. Maria devoted her entire life to our vision. She was absolutely committed to our company, to our project. I promised myself I'd reward her after we launched Spectrum Brown. I'd make sure she was comfortable for the rest of her life. She was... Also, our voice of reason. She was sensible, and I appreciated her advice. I never got to tell her that. What can I do for you? Excellent. I trust you have a name for our poisoner. Oh, I am disappointed. I'd always believed Mr. Woolrich a man of high character. It pains me to order the arrest and detention of someone I admired. I'd like you to continue investigating Helen's murder. You've found the poisoner, but her killer remains at large. Inspector, are you confident you've finished your investigation? You've qu I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector, who killed Halcyon Helm? I beg your pardon. You think I killed Halcyon Helen? But you haven't interviewed everyone. I... I expect you to deliver the name. We're done. Your services are no longer necessary. I'm a defensive, Inspector. You're convinced I murdered Halcyon Helen. Fine. Show me some evidence. Got an appointment? You're not allowed up with no appointment. Well, now, this is unexpected. Hmm. I'm torn. I despise rudeness toward Eileen, who is entirely invaluable to Slug, and 
Yet I do enjoy this bold, dare I say brash, approach you're taking. Now then, here for my alibi, I assume? Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Did you now? You're confident they were slug agents and not, I don't know, hired thugs in stolen uniforms? In short, Slug has not sent anyone to rough you up, Inspector. That would be acting against our own self-interest. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs Slug gear and send them after you? Well, to smear my name, anyway. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Oh, that's good. That's very good, Inspector. I like this. Dominant. Aggressive. Hmm? The man in charge. I don't want to accuse anyone without hard evidence, though it may be worth noting Ludovico has motivation in spades. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. And I appreciate that, Inspector. The fact of the matter is, I know I didn't kill Helen, and I trust you fully and completely to find whoever did. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. You may very well want to. This particular trouble strikes me as not unrelated to your investigation. Items are disappearing from Slug's storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Has it? I wonder. How much of your luck has been luck, and how much are you downplaying as chance? Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads, me scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> Oh, I never subcontract out that type of work, Inspector. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account.
Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Hi there! Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision. Oh, wait half a second. You're the inspector. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Feel free to have a look around, sir. So, this is where Slug houses all its completely legally obtained inventory. Hmm? Is fight night still on then? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. 500 riding on Dr. Billy taking it off. You better on his craft named Dr. Billy? The biology of this sprat is highly unusual. This sprat has been in contact with multiple parasites, yet shows no symptoms of infection. An excellent point, Inspector. The unique immunological subsystem found in sprats is advantageous in fending off parasites, pathogens, and other biological threats. A cursory analysis of this organism's anatomy suggests it was bred deliberately for its unusually large size. Based on slug records of board-issued punitive sanctions against sublight salvage and shipping, this sprat is most likely intended for cage fighting. Hey there, little buddy. Wait! Maybe this N-ray warning isn't fake. I didn't even know they made Raptodon erotica. You're the inspector, aren't you? Boskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever had to shoot a suspect? <gasps> Case. Just like a real inspector. Right, so, the missing cargo. How can I help your investigation? That's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. 
I ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Sabers so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the Spectrum black? Ugh. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, full stop? Yeah, probably not. No one's dumb enough to think Spacer's Choice Sabers are worth half a damn. Then there's the most recent theft. Five boxes of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't decide which one's sadder. Well, I'm no inspector. If there is one, I'm sure you'll find it. Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing, for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automax that handle cargo. That's Benton's area, but don't bother asking him for help. Last time I asked him to check the automex, the hull head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. Brain dead, maybe. But no, no. My point is that if you think the automex are a lead, you'll have to check on them yourself. Hopefully, you're mechanically inclined. Oh, before I forget, I figured you might want to access my terminal, so I had a spare keycard made. It's all yours. Oh no, I forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages I sent about which cargo to steal. Nah, I do have a list of cargo that's gone missing though, if that helps any.
timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We ought to talk shop one of these days. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. You can talk, discrepancy amplifier. You do it. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Analysis, inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. The area within a 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Transmission endpoint discovered. The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime-covered. Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, this unit is unable to determine who placed the device. Based on the accumulated mix of sludge and detritus, the receiver has been present since approximately a week before Helen's death. Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. For type K19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once triggered, defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. Loading auto mechanical unit K14 is fully operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported and its destination. How can this auto mechanical assist you? Certainly. Access panel is now unlocked. Ejecting data log 17C alert. Failsafe protocol triggered. Kill mode initiated. Preparing to end user. Power rerouted. Boosting radio signal detection range. Additional frequencies detected. The ejected data log contains instructions to move cargo shipment 6, 8, 7, 5 outside the boundaries of the shipping yard. It also contains instructions to move randomized cargo shipments outside the boundaries of the shipping yard at intervals of 1 to 4 days. Apologies. 
This unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Unit entering standby mode. Have a nice day. Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure? Ooh, I love this part. The big reveal. So tell me, what happened? What makes you say that? Damn, you're good. Hacking the Automex. So that was our skimmer's game. But why? Everything that was stolen has seemed random. I certainly see no pattern. So, our culprit had something specific they wished to acquire and used the random theft as a smokescreen. I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. Then that just leaves how the culprit knew where their true target would be, or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. Am I right to think what you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? Not quite, Inspector. That listening device belongs to me. I lent it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. Unbelievable. I helped her, gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead, and that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. Halcyon Helen is already dead. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas, I did not. Indeed. Incidentally, feel free to stop by after you clear me as a suspect. I won't even say, I told you so. <laughs> Though I can't vouch for Eileen. I wish you luck with your investigation. Though I doubt you'll need it. You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns. Closely, I trust. Tell me what you found. Of course he's got an alibi. He runs Sublight Underground. He probably starts his day by preparing half a dozen alibis. With that in mind, do you think Cedric was responsible for Helen's death? Fair enough, Inspector. I won't try to influence your judgment any more than I already have. Unfortunately, even I don't have the authority to detain Cedric. His line of work is dangerous, though. There's always a chance for an accident. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I've already lost Dr. Blossom and Constable Keene, but at least Cedric's alive. 
The universe is a just place.